Hello tribe, it's Kia from Heritage93 and today I'm going to show you guys how I install these goddess faux locks in record time. And of course, purple was the go-to because this video was inspired by my book, To Be Drenched in Dreams, Delights, Downfalls and Do's. While I'm showing you guys this tutorial, I'll be looking for the perfect piece to share with you guys at the end, so stick around. In the meantime, if you'd like to install goddess locks in 3 hours max, keep on watching. So I'm starting out with clean, moderately stretched hair that's ready to be cornrowed, but I want a natural look. So in the front, I'm just going to section off about two rows of hair, and then presto! Okay, now on to the hair. I ordered 12 packs from ufuzzy.com and it was in the blended 1B purple ombre and the length was 26 inches. This is what we've been waiting for guys, the loop application. Now let's appreciate these hair details, shall we? Looking good, so I'll install the majority of the crochet locks and come right back. Okay, so this is what we have so far, and I'll be showing you guys the easy peasy crochet method first, for right here. Thankfully, this technique is just like regular crochet methods. Stick your open latch hook through your braid, loop on your lock, close the latch, and then pull it through. When it comes to the knotting, one knot was enough for me. It gives me an easy install so I can move on to the next one, easy takedown, and less bulk in my hair. So this ladies is how I did the majority of my hair in under two hours, not two days. And for this section, I left all but two here to be hand braided. Now take some Marley hair, I cut this in half already lengthwise, and then split it again like so. Now I'll take some free tress deep wave and pull out a small section of that as well. Now make one end longer than the other and stagger the two hair patterns together for this lock. Now separate your hair into two equal parts, and while firmly grasping those sections, roll them away from each other. And as your rolls become tighter and tighter, when you're ready, then twist. Now take a crochet needle to secure a longer Marley hair into this section before wrapping it fairly tight. And don't worry, I'll show you guys how I seal it in this last lock. When I mention staggering the hair, that means that the four ends are at four different parts. Now this section will be braided, so if twisting isn't your thing, don't worry, I got you. Notice from the start, I'm braiding with three separate sections. For best results, keep your hands as close to your scalp as you possibly can. That's how you keep the braid super tight.
Sometimes you might run out of the twisted section to wrap. No worries, just wrap the Marley hair back up the lock. And sealing this hair is super easy. Because the Marley hair is so thick, all you have to do is palm roll it. These three techniques gave me goddess locks in three hours, guys. And if you want your locks to be a little bit more natural looking to start, all you have to do is rough them up a bit. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and found it super helpful. As promised, I've chosen a page for you guys. A reminder to let the beautiful things you make be your outlets for escape. Take care guys, I'll see you in the next one.